This is something thing. like out of a horror film. No, it keeps on disappearing into the dust. <laughs> You're gotta be messing with I swear, Jim's right there! <laughs> I've had it! Okay, we are picking cotton in our first dry land field. This is Delta Pine, 1840. This field looks really good, but what's strange is just about half a mile that way. Well, half, half a mile that way, we've got another field, 1840. Everything done exactly the same doesn't look near as good. Anyways, hopefully we'll get three modules out of this field. This is maybe two bale cotton if we're lucky. It's definitely not three bale cotton but uh, doesn't look that bad. Trevor's on the module builder. Let's go check it out and see how he's doing. Oh my goodness. Jeez, don't you love it when the road grader decides to just cut the biggest ditch leading into the field? So I've set a goal. Maybe it's an unrealistic goal, but right now we're at maybe, I don't know, 31,000 followers, just over 31,000. I'd like to get to 35,000 followers by the end of the year. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. So just touch that subscribe button or maybe click it and we would greatly appreciate it. What's up, Trevor? Hey. How's it going? Going good. Yep. All right. So yesterday we got this module built, but then we had a bit of a problem. We sprung a leak. Nice. Yep. Alright. So just don't get up under that. You don't want anything to fall on you. But it's gonna be up in there. Yeah, up in there. We'll try to zoom in. That's where it was leaking and had a little pinhole leak in it and it progressively got worse and worse and worse. So we took it back to the barn, got it uh, welded up, and now we're ready to pick some cotton. Trevor, seriously? Please subscribe. Good job. Back at the barn, about to get some soil samples pulled here at the house field, 135 acres. But I wanted to show you guys something. If you saw the video before this one, I think it was the one before this one, uh, we got the Thunder Creek fuel trailer. Looks awesome, huge upgrade for us. Well, they dropped it off a couple days ago and it's here. Let's check it out. Oh, you can almost see it. You can see it peeping around the corner. You can almost see it. Beautiful. Haven't even used it yet, but we will be, but we'll be using it very quickly. Man, it's so shiny. I'm scared to even get it out in the field. It's almost too clean. Oh. I'm gonna shine the tires up. gonna be nice thunder creek hooking it up coolest part the graphics just look amazing to me they really knocked it out of the park and it will it's gonna speed things up so much holds 700 uh, 750 gallons or owen holds 500 40 gallons per minute uh pump it's got the gauge on it shows you how much fuel you've got in it you've got the hose reel with the 35 foot hose so huge huge upgrade for us Pulling soil samples, 
and the reason we do that is to see what our land needs so all year long we've been growing a crop growing a crop so it's taken a lot out of it so we'll pull a soil sample we'll send this off to the lab they'll come back and let us know hey you're low on this you're low on that but what what we are really looking for I can't i can't talk today what we are really looking for is the ph so we want our ph around 6.5 if it's any lower than that that tells us that hey you probably need to spread some lime out there some people call it dolomite lime i don't really know what to call it but anyway uh, if that's the case if it's low we'll spread lime on this before we plant our oats because we'll be planting oats here in about two weeks okay i got all the samples pulled and curtis is over there spraying some cotton for us let's go check it out Okay, let's buckle up and move to the next 30-acre cotton field. We got moved here. This is our other 30-acre dry land field. And this one doesn't look near as good as the other one. Not sure what's changed. The only thing is um, our buddy had cows here. So we strip-tilled it. Uh, twice, but we didn't break it or nothing. So I think it could have been a compaction issue But anyways, it's not looking good. Maybe a bell an acre if we're lucky Trevor, how do you think you did on the module builder? Uh, I don't know. I really couldn't rate myself. Yeah, you know, right yeah, So keep you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That was good why y'all gonna do that? <laughs> oh, that was good. I feel naked without my cowboy hat. Uh, you look, you look different. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'll go ahead and chunk this in here for you. Make sure I chunk it out of the way so you don't hit it. Oh, I have to jump in there. Exactly. So what you have to do is jump into there, and then shovel out so I can get the door open. Now it's not gonna it's not gonna be like quicksand, is it? No, you're good. I mean like it's never all. happened to me. It's not like corn. Good morning guys. Um today Trevor is gonna jump in the bin because it's quit flowing, so we gotta jump in, shovel out so we can open the door, and then eventually get our grain sweep in there. Hey mom. Is there any good way to do this? Uh you just kind of Nothing to it. Oh my. Did you fill your overalls up? No, but my shovel's all the way down there. You're good. Just walk down there and get it. Why walk? Right about there. Trevor just said there's a live bat. Where is the bat? I swear to God, look. Hmm? Oh, there he is, there he is. I don't see it. Wait. See it? No, dang it, I can't see nothing. This is something like out of a horror film. No, it keeps on disappearing into the dust. <laughs> You're godly mess. I swear, Jim's right there. <laughs> there it is. I see it, I see it. There it is, it's coming right here. Wait. Right here, right here. Oh, I do see it. What? I told you. That is nuts. And it's a bat, it's not a bird. No, it's a bat. Well, hurry up and shovel him before he starts biting you. You know, they don't have eyes. They go by echolocation. All right, everyone. There's a bat in here. Somewhere. But we just got the door open where I can get out. There's a lot of grain in here. Here you go, Jim.
out here chopping some stalks. Making it look good. Let's get with it. You do that. Check that out. Got a three in one. Got the blades that cut the stalks, then you got the chopper that chops them, then you got the um, Rollers on the back like the cultivator. Making it look good, Bo. And we just picked this field yesterday. Only over there, Hunts North. They should knock it out. About two hours. Turn around here. Oh, crap. That's rough. It's about lunchtime for me. I'm hungry. I don't know. Order me some food. Order me a burger from the pharmacy. And I'm going to go pick it up meat. One more, one more through to do, and I'm going to shut her down for lunchtime. You know, you got to replenish. What's Subway saying? You gotta, you gotta eat fresh to be fresh. I think that's it. You guys, let me know in the comments. So eat fresh to be fresh. Beef, some fresh beef. Hey Trevor, hey, you got that cotton picker ready to roll yet? No. What did I tell you? But let me tell you what we did do. What? Follow me in the back. Driving the boss man's truck. Oh, we found oh. the missing plow point. Y'all found it. Huh? If y'all remember a couple of videos back, Papa was shaking and inverting, and we lost the plow point. And Papa went over there with the diggers. Chisel plow. Chisel plow. I was headed over there to get footage of it and you guys were too quick. Yep, well Papa went over there with the chisel plow and swooped through it. Found it. Found Man, it. That thing's not even hurt. Nice. nice. Well, we're working on the cotton picker. We're not picking cotton at this moment. We got about a week break from picking cotton until we got some ready. We're waiting a little bit longer this year, around 17 days or so before we pick it. And it's picking super clean. So we've been getting this thing ready to roll with the old 99, 96. A lot to do to it, but we got the heads cleaned out, radiator cleaned, grease put in it, so she's ready to roll. All right, everybody. Well, that is going to be the end. That is going to be the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Until the end, Jesus loves you guys. Keep it in the filled rows. See ya. Bye. Oh, wait. Brand new podcast is out now. Uh, it's been like 49 days since we launched the podcast. We're talking about going to the Moultrie Expo, Chinese cotton pickers, tires falling off peanut pickers, and Paget Productions' own Hunter Paget, the web guru. Gu is it guru or guru? Guru. 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 So make sure you check that out anywhere podcasts are found. All right, see ya, bye.
Fall.